If you need to create a table of contents in InDesign, you can save a lot of time by having InDesign automatically generate your table of contents. And that is exactly what I'll be showing you in this tutorial. I'll also show you how you can further customize your table of contents to make it look more visually appealing. In my document, as you can see, my pages have a heading, subheading, and paragraph text. You only need one type of custom paragraph style, but for sake of demonstration, my document has some different paragraph styles. So as you can see here under my document styles, I have a heading, subheading, and body text. Now before we create the table of contents, let's first duplicate our body text, and then make sure everything is deselected, and then double click on our new paragraph style, and then let's just rename this body TOC. And this will allow us to edit the text within our table of contents without affecting the text everywhere else. Now to generate our table of contents, let's go up to Layout and select Table of Contents. In this panel, the title field is going to be your actual title, the default is fine, and I want that style to match the heading style on my other pages, so I'm going to select the heading style. Now in the box below, these styles on each page are going to be what is generated in your table of contents, and I want that to be both the heading and subheading and the associated page numbers will be attached to those styles in the table of contents and you can choose to display those numbers or not in the section below under the more options and fewer options here and you can see those have a level one or level two based on the heading and subheading and those are looking good now since the style of my title is the same as my heading i want the heading within my table of contents to match the style of my subheading and I want the subheading contents to match the style of my body text, but since we created a special body TOC, we'll select that style. Your page number should be set to after entry by default, and then for the between entry number you want to select right indent tab. That will make sure your text is aligned to the right of your text frame. Once you're happy with your settings, you can hit OK, and then you can place in your table of contents anywhere on the page by just clicking. I'm going to make my text frame snap to the margins, and now you can adjust the space in between your text by going into your paragraph styles. Double click on your paragraph style, go to indents and spacing, and adjust the space before and space after settings. Now let's go over to the tab section. Here's where you can add a line or some dots to lead your eye from the text to the numbers. In the leader text field here, you can add a period or a dash or any character you want. And then just hit the gray above your tab stop ruler, and now you can preview your changes. And if you want to add some space between your dots, you can do that with the space bar and hit tab. And now your dots look a lot more elegant. If we zoom in a bit, we can refine this further. As you see, some of the dots are touching the text and we can fix that by going up to layout, table of contents, and where it says between entry and number, we can add some space between our right indent tab symbol. And if you're having the same issue on the right, we can add some space to the right of the symbol and then just hit okay. And if for some reason it doesn't update automatically, you can go up to Layout and select Update Table of Contents. And now as you see, we have some more space added between our numbers and the text. And I can still make changes to my table of contents. For example, if I didn't want the number next to my headings, I could fix that by going up to Layout and Table of Contents. Make sure my heading is selected and then go to Page Number and then select No Page Number and then hit OK. For something like this document, you would probably want to have your leading lines and page numbers in the heading of your table of contents. And that is how you can generate and design your own table of contents in InDesign. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe. It helps a lot to support the channel and to continue making helpful content like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.